the world's first electric cargo ship. When you think you have seen it all, you'd be amazed at what your eyes unfold. If you believe electrification and automation apply only to land vehicles, you've got it coming. In this video, we will talk about the world's first electric cargo ship. So before starting this video, please subscribe to this channel for our future updates. With that said, welcome to TechSpot. Yara International, a Norwegian firm, claims to have developed the world's first zero emission ship capable of autonomous cargo delivery. The Yara Birkeland electric cargo ship was first conceived in 2017 and made its maiden trip to Oslo, Norway on November 18, 2021. Yara Birkeland landed in Oslo in the early evening of November 18 after departing Horten in the morning, allowing partners to see the ship firsthand and learn more about the process that led to this fantastic success. This journey was completed without a single crew member on board, but was closely monitored from three control centers on shore. Because it is fully electric and autonomous, it has already been labeled the Tesla of the sea. Yara Bergland will be the world's first zero emissions completely electric and autonomous container ship. Yara expects to save diesel-powered truck transportation by 40,000 trips per year using this vessel. In today's episode, we'll take you on a tour of the world's first zero emission cargo ship, including what mechanism is at work, what path it will follow, and why it's already assisting in rescuing people in inland areas of the United States. Yara International is a Norwegian corporation founded in 1905 to prevent Europe's looming famine. The company invented the first nitrogen fertilizer, which is still its primary industry today. The electric cargo ship has a 7 megawatt hour battery capacity that powers two 900 kilowatt as a pool pods and two 700 kilowatt tunnel thrusters, allowing it to reach a top speed of 15 knots. The Yara Birkeland now has 120 20 foot equivalent units cargo capacity or 60 40 foot shipping containers. Yara focuses on emissions reduction sustainable agricultural techniques, and its never-ending fight against hunger. While the corporation wants to keep feeding the world, it also believes it can do so in a sustainable manner. As a leading global fertilizer company with a mission to feed the world and protect the planet, investing in this zero-emission vessel to transport our crop nutrition solutions fits our strategy well. We are proud to work with Konsberg to realize the world's first autonomous all-electric vessel to enter commercial operation, says Vin Tor Holzer, president and CEO of Yara. On the technical side, Konsberg is responsible for developing and delivering all essential technologies at Yara Birkeland. This applies to the sensors and integration required for remote and autonomous operations and electrical propulsion battery and control systems. Yara Birkeland represents the beginning of a big contribution to meeting national and international environmental impact targets by transferring container movement from land to sea, according to Gear Hau, president and CEO of Konsberg. The new concept is also a big step toward increasing seaborne transportation in general. As a leading global marine technology business, Konsberg's integrated control and monitoring systems are already capable of supplying technology for remote and unmanned operations. Yara Birkeland will benefit from Konsberg's collective competence and technologies. The Norwegian company created this company in 2017 to combat toxic sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxides emissions from diesel engines on ships. The company began conceptualizing the possibility of an autonomous, fully electric ship to eliminate toxic emissions altogether. Every day, more than 100 diesel truck journeys are needed to transport products from Yara's Horsgren plant to ports in Brevik and Larvik, where we ship products to customers worldwide. With this new autonomous battery-driven container vessel, we move transport from road to sea and thereby reduce noise and dust emissions, improve the safety of local roads, and reduce nitrogen oxide and carbon emissions. This new zero-emission vessel will be a game-changer for global maritime transport, contributing to meeting the UN sustainability goals. Today, the Yara Birkeland is afloat in Norway, named after the Norwegian researcher who discovered the ability to add nitrogen to fertilizer. To begin, humans will be required to load and unload the ship. However, John Sletten, plant manager at Yara's factory in Porsgrim, Norway, 
believes that most operations will eventually be controlled by autonomous technology. Autonomous cranes and straddle carriers will ultimately be used to help transfer containers on and off the ship. Technology company Konsberg will be in charge of integrating the sensors and other technologies for autonomous navigation, with a phase of remote operation included on the path to complete autonomy. The emphasis on autonomy reduces the cost of operation for those delivering goods. At the same time, the total electric cargo ship combats carbon emissions simultaneously. The sensors are radar, infrared cameras, and automotive integrated solutions cameras, which work together to allow the ship to detect and avoid obstructions in its route. McGregor's automatic mooring arms have also been installed on the vessel, allowing for unsupervised docking and mooring at quays. Additionally, cloud solutions are being employed on the ship. They will deliver data from the voyage and operations to a remote operations center on the land. Although the inclusion of this technology will allow the vessel to be controlled remotely from the shore, this is not the intention of its integration. The system has been designed so that the ship can complete the voyage without human intervention, with remote takeover only being required if an event requiring human assistance occurs. The company will spend the next few years collecting and analyzing operational data to learn and train the algorithm to perform as effectively as possible. Simulator testing gives reliable evidence of the system's performance. Still, real-time data from actual journeys and operation areas, such as currents, traffic, and the behavior of the surroundings, is critical for the autonomous ship's development. The full autonomy of the vessel, which means no cruise is required on board, is one of the primary features that distinguish the Yara Birkeland from its competition. The ship's full autonomy has several advantages, including lower staffing expenses, although some will be required for the remote control center and more cargo capacity on the deck. Combined with this, autonomous shipping enhanced overall voyage safety because the vast majority of maritime catastrophes are caused by human mistakes. Incorporating computer systems on the vessel could prove to be substantially safer than personal piloting. In general, the safety of the autonomous ships is improved and seamen are not exposed to danger at sea. Still, fewer incidents are related to people's fatigue or other human error. On the other hand, autonomous technology can introduce new challenges, such as the threat of cyber attacks, which could result in the loss of control and takeover of the vessel if a vessel is hacked. Yara is always looking for ways to improve the business, safety, and environmental imprint. By introducing Yara Birkeland, Yara wants to demonstrate a commitment to reducing the environmental impact of goods transportation. With the production plant in Porsgrund, Norway, located by the sea, and close to 100 of the products to be exported by ship, it seemed inconvenient to transport what is delivered in containers the first distance from the plant to the shipping port by trucks. During the vessel's maiden voyage in 2021, the company conducted sea trials in which containers were delivered, loaded, and shipped via the ship. The company has also tested maritime capabilities such as auto docking and auto crossing using the same technology on the Yara Birkeland on a double-ended ferry in regular traffic crossing the Oslo Fjord. Innova, a government agency promoting renewable energy products, has set aside up to 133.5 million kroner for the project. To achieve this, transportation emissions must be reduced to nearly zero. Innova needs projects to transform the market and accelerate the pace of change in its sector. This is precisely what the world's first autonomous and all-electric container ship can do. Along with the construction of the Yara Birkeland, the company's newly established Yara Clean Ammonia Unit has begun the creation of green ammonia as an emission-free fuel for shipping. Yara, the world's largest fertilizer producer, relies on ammonia for fertilizer production. At the same time, current ammonia production accounts for 2% of global fossil energy consumption, or around 1.2% of total global greenhouse gas emissions. The zero-emission ship was supposed to start autonomous travels in 2020, but plans were halted because of the COVID-19 outbreak. The Yara Birkeland, a Norwegian container ship, appears to be a game-changer in the fight against carbon emissions. On the surface, ocean-going freight emits almost a billion tons of carbon dioxide every year which is more than all but five of the world's largest countries combined. Electrification of at least some of this traffic, according to theory, would give the Earth a little more breathing room. What do you think of the video? Let us know in the comment section below. 
If you enjoyed this video and want to see more exciting content, be sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.